Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence. And we've got some great news today because there is a new beta version of the Digibyte Android app available now on the Play Store. Uh, actually, I say available now, but it's rolling out, so it may take a couple more hours for it to show up for everybody, although I'm aware it's already being installed on certain people's devices. So, uh, a couple of nice little quality of life updates here, specifically one around crashes uh, that occurs when sending Digi assets. So, if you have been having issues, I would encourage you to go to the Play Store and you can sign up for the beta there. There will be a little button that you can choose. Do this from either your PC or from your mobile phone. Uh, get the beta version installed. Provide us with some feedback. You can do this either through Twitter uh, or through Telegram by joining the developer channel. Uh, so again, a thank you to Noah for all the hard work that he puts into this, all of the updates and things as well. Uh, fantastic to see there. Uh, now, a friend actually asked me yesterday, they were, we, were, we were talking specifically about institutional money and what that means. And I said, look, to be honest, I don't actually really know uh, what institutional money is going to look for. But I, I said to this friend of mine, uh, as we were talking about backed and about uh, trading futures and things, I said one of the things that I do know is that if you look on the coin market cap, there is probably nothing in the top 100 that comes even close to Digibyte when it comes to such sound fundamentals. There, there's a couple, there's a couple that are probably pretty close, but Digibyte, as far as I'm concerned, is definitely one of the uh, like a far ahead of the pack leaders in that aspect. Uh, now, they actually mentioned to me what would happen uh, in terms of institutional money or big players. We're looking at Digibyte and our volume, the 24-hour trading volume, for example. Uh, I wasn't personally terribly concerned, um, but they were, and they wondered if you compared Digibyte with others, how that might impact things. Now, I want to go and show you here uh, BTI.live. Now, BTI actually do... Uh, sort of weighted trading volumes, they adjust it to get rid of wash trading. Unfortunately, this is what their website looks like at the moment, uh, but they have just recently put out a report here uh, for September. Now, in this report, they basically mentioned that Digibyte has 5% or less wash trading volume. So, when you see the volume on the likes of CoinMarketCap, it's basically, it's, it's what you see is what you get. However, when you look at other things on CoinMarketCap, Certain other projects, in fact, a large many of them in the top 50, for example, we're seeing upwards of 80 to 90% wash trading going on. In fact, they even argue that there are some that have well over 95% wash trading. So what that means is when you compare apples with apples and you remove all of that wash trading, we're actually probably still doing okay in terms of the, the volume and things. Uh, now, this is also a little bit of conjecture on my behalf because like I mentioned, I don't actually know what a high volume trader would look for or that kind of thing. But at least it's reassuring to know that the trading volumes of Digibyte are not actually lagging behind anything else uh, terribly much in that respect. So, so that was quite good to see as well. Uh, one of the other things that I want to talk about specifically is the Digibyte and Friends episode. I'm going to be doing a premiere with Craig tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. New Zealand time. You can go and I'll include a link in the description below to go and get notified. Uh, you can come down here and click the reminder button and it will alert you on your PC or mobile device depending on whatever you're using. And this is going to be a great opportunity for you to tune in. I'm going to try out the Premiere feature, never used this before. And uh, Craig will be there as well so we can answer any questions that you might have along the way talking about a whole bunch of things. and. So I really, I really wanted the Digibyte and Friends show to be about ways that we can both reach out to other people, other projects, and learn more about a whole lot of really cool things that could be very helpful for Digibyte, for Digibyte users, and the community at large, uh, both in terms of what we can bring into Digibyte, as well as reaffirming great reasons behind our choices for Digibyte. That's kind of a bit of a mouthful. Basically, I want it to be something really awesome. I want, I want to bring a whole lot of value to both Digibyte and beyond. And uh, I hope this will show in the first one. We actually filmed this uh, live. We both met up uh, in the city, caught up in person. So it's going to be a little bit different compared to what most of them are. Uh, being filmed online, obviously. There's not a lot of blockchain projects that are operating out of New Zealand here, but as Navcoin uh, are, and as they're doing a whole lot of really cool stuff around their staking, their on-chain governance, their DAO and the likes, I thought it was a great opportunity to start things off by discussing Navcoin and the things that they're up to. So 
big thank you to Craig. Really looking forward to this tomorrow. Tune in and uh, say hi in the live chat there. Uh, we'll be there to answer any questions as it is premiering. Anyway, that's all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Consider leaving a like, subscribe. You can catch me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. I'll see you tomorrow on the live stream. Cheers.